Hi everybody, Dr. Mike here. In this video, I'm gonna to introduce to you the digestive system. So very basically, the digestive system takes in food and breaks this food down into its micronutrients and then absorbs these nutrients into the bloodstream for it to be dispersed through the tissues of the body to be used for energy or as building blocks. Now, whatever remains gets defecated and leaves the body. And this is, this is the major function of the digestive tract. Now, when I say digestive tract, I'm also referring to that of the alimentary canal. And that's the primary component of the digestive system. And I think that's worth writing down, is the alimentary canal. Now, the alimentary canal is this hollow muscular tube that goes from the mouth and snakes its way all the way through down to the anus. Now the thing is this, this alimentary canal, while it's a muscular tube, also has other layers to it that allow for it to have many different functions depending on what aspect of the tube we're referring to. Now in addition to the alimentary canal, another primary component of the digestive system are the accessory digestive structures. Now accessory digestive structures are not components of the alimentary canal, but they are accessory components and they often have ducts or tubes that lead into the alimentary canal. So the first thing I wanna do is go through the various aspects of the alimentary canal. And I'm gonna do this in blue. So first thing is, the mouth. The mouth is the first aspect of the alimentary canal. Then we go down to the pharynx, which is the back of the throat. Then we go to the esophagus. Then the stomach. Then the small intestines. And then we move through to the large intestines. Now the large intestines, right at the very end, which is the final structure of the alimentary canal, is that of the anus. Now these in blue, they're all aspects of the alimentary canal. Now the accessory components, which we're gonna highlight here in red, these accessory components include those of the oral cavity, which includes the tongue, which includes teeth, and includes salivary glands. of which there's many kinds. It also includes that of the pancreas, which sits, which sits around about here, and the liver, which sits round about here. Now underneath the liver we've got something called the gallbladder. So we've also got the gallbladder. Now what I might do is just put a little asterisk here and then I'll put an asterisk here for gallbladder. And these are all various aspects of the accessory structures. Now what I want to talk about is the function of the digestive system. So the function of the digestive system Let's begin with that of ingestion. So number one, ingestion, taking food in. So eating, let's say intake, which is eating. The second function we need to talk about is that of secretion. So the digestive system actually secretes substances, and these substances are enzymes and mucus. Enzymes and mucus. Now these enzymes can be digestive enzymes, for example, things that break down proteins, fats, or carbohydrates. And the mucus is obviously an extremely important structure. Because we're gonna have substances moving through this alimentary canal, there's gonna be friction in this environment and we don't want to damage the cells 
of that tissue. So mucus is also very important. Another important function of the digestive system is that of mixing. In actual fact, mixing and propulsion So the foodstuffs that we take in, we need to mix, mix, mix it up, and we also need to push it through the tract. This process of mixing and pushing is termed peristalsis. Number four, another function of the digestive system is that of digestion. So we can't forget that primary role of digestion. Now importantly, You've got both mechanical and chemical digestion. Mechanical and chemical. Now what's the difference between the two? Mechanical is physical digestion. That's actually part of this mixing and propulsion process. That's where we physically tear things apart. So our teeth, for example, and our tongue are allowed to break things apart. That's mechanical digestion. Our stomach can throw things around. That's mechanical digestion. Chemical digestion involves these enzymes that are being released or secreted from the digestive tract. And again, they're molecular scissors that chop up big carbohydrates big triglycerides and big proteins into their smaller components of glucose, galactose, fructose, for example, of fatty acids and glycerol, or of amino acids, respectively. That's number four. Number five is that of absorption. So once we've broken these things down, we need to absorb them. And they're actually absorbed into the blood stream. Well, most of them are absorbed into the blood stream. Some, like fats, are absorbed into the lymphatic system. And different substances are absorbed at different areas of the tract. So for example, alcohol can be absorbed at the stomach, but not much else. You'll find the small intestines will be one of the primary sites for absorption when it comes to nutrients. But the large intestines are a really important site for vitamins and water and electrolyte absorption, okay? All right, that's number five. Number six, which is the final one, is that of excretion. So number one is intake. Last one's gonna be excretion. And excretion is defecation. And what we are excreting from the body, obviously at the anus, is gonna be indigestible products or substances that we no longer require. And that's the final stage of the functional processes of the digestive system. So what we've gone through here, first of all, is we've broken the digestive system into the alimentary canal and the accessory structures. We'll be talking more about this in detail in future videos and all the different functions of the digestive system.